The American Society of Agricultural and Biological Engineers, or ASABE, particle separator, is the standard method for determining the particle size distribution of chopped forages. It is a large machine that uses as-fed samples. It is accurate and does a very good job of separating samples with extremely long particles. The ASABE separator is heavy, large, and requires electricity to operate, which limits it to laboratory use. In this video, Dr. Judd Heinrichs will demonstrate the use of the ASABE separator. Okay, this is a particle separator, a forage and TMR particle separator. It was developed back in the 80s uh, by the American Society of Agriculture and Biological Engineers. It's really one of the classical um, particle separators that we've used for forage and TMR separation. Uh, what it has is a large tray here where I can put sample. Uh, it's uh, pulse for two and a half gallons of as-fed material. I'll show you in a minute where it separates. Uh, basically have a series of screens here. Uh, they go all the way from a very large screen uh, down to smaller and smaller sizes all the way to having a 1.18 millimeter screen and then a pan on the bottom. One of the critical things that uh, this does is it separates in a three-dimensional manner. These have to be square holes, but the thickness of the material that it's passing through, the forage is passing through, is proportional to the size of that hole. So the thickness of the top screen is going to be the greatest, and it gets smaller and smaller as you go all the way down to that 1.18 screen on the bottom. material in this. Uh, it shapes in a two-dimensional manner. Uh, there is no up and down shaping with this. It shapes for a minute in this two-dimensional manner uh, so that you can get the actual particle size and particle length of a forge or TMR. After it's gone through its cycle, I come in here and I weigh the material on each of those different a rather expensive piece of equipment, a rather heavy piece of equipment, and there aren't too many of them around in the world, but it is a classical way that I can define mean particle size uh, and deviation around that, so when I'm doing some calculations in the lab or for some research experiments, it gives me very accurate data. Uh, there are some forage labs around the world uh, that will use it also 